How's it going everybody? My name is Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. Today we're going to move some logs, have a campfire, we're going to pull a stump. I'm going to show you my new logging arch and I think we're just going to take it easy, do a little bit of wood cutting and not work too hard. It's almost the 4th of July, but a few weeks back before the weather got too hot, I was over here at the cabin. If you remember what this place looked like when we bought it, there was four big trees on the roof. Now my brother Ryan and I got all the trees off the roof, and then Brooke cleaned all the debris off the roof. Years and years of pine needles, and twigs, and sap. Got it right back down to bare metal, and luckily the roof was in pretty good shape. Now it's time to clean this mess up before it gets too hot and get these saw logs all staged somewhere that they're out of the way. A couple years ago I shot a few videos on the Harbor Freight Sawmill. That's a solid little mill and it's very simple and it's really cheap. I used to have a big mill. It was a Lynn Lumber Mill copy. It would take like a 36 inch log, but if you've ever seen a 36 inch log, that's a massive log. So I told myself if I ever got another sawmill, I would get the smallest one you can buy. Because even a tiny sawmill is plenty big enough. My plan is to get these logs sawed up at some point in the near future. Let them sit and dry for a while, stack them up on stickers, and then I've got some various projects I'd like to make out of these logs. Some of them are a little bit past their prime, but I don't think they're too bad. My plan is just to cut them up into one inch boards, maybe some two by fours. With those boards, I'd like to build a little storage shed. I have to rebuild the outhouse, and I'll probably build a wood shed. But right now, what I need to do is just get them somewhere out of the way so I can clean the rest of this mess up. The roof mess, everything that came off of the building. I'm pretty excited about this big popple. It's nice and straight, doesn't have any heart rot, and it's just gonna saw up into some good wood. I should be able to get about four or five good eight foot logs out of here. Nice tree. You know, a couple years ago, I bought my dad one of these Echo chainsaws. This is a 490. I've had a few of the smaller Echoes and I loved them. And the fact that they sell them at Home Depot, a lot of people lump them in with cheap saws like Poland's. But actually, they're basically a Shindawa. But they're Japanese engineered, so it's basically like running a Honda chainsaw, sort of. The other thing I like about them is uh, people really haven't caught on to how good of a saw they are. So you can find a lot of times where a homeowner's bought one and they use it just a little bit, throw it on Marketplace and sell it for half of what it was new. I bought this saw off a guy who never used it, and I think I paid... 30 cents on the dollar or what it was new. You know what they don't sell at Home Depot? They don't sell campfires. You gotta make your own. I love the fact that there is so much dead dry wood on this property. I could have a campfire every night for, I don't know, the foreseeable future. I wouldn't run out. Lots and lots of wood here. One piece of wood I'm not too fond of is this big white pine stump. I'd like to get this out of here. It has a neighbor right next to it. You can't see it because it's under a pile of wood. So I'll pop this stump and then sometime in the future I'll get the one that's buried. And then I can flatten this area out. I plan on putting a woodshed where the big pile of wood is. That way I can back my truck right up to the woodshed. 
but everything here has to go first. So just like pulling a big tooth, let's see if we can get the stump out of here. And we won't get it on that try. Well, that wasn't too bad. I thought it put up more of a fight than that, but I'm glad it didn't. I really want to get this stump out of here, but I really want to keep the dirt that it's taken with it, so we'll take a few minutes and clean this thing off. You know another thing you can't get at Home Depot? Kiabasa. They should fix that. Any store that sells lumber should also sell Polish sausage. About 10 years ago, a lady down the road lost her barn to a tornado. It was an old barn and there were no animals in it, so nothing got hurt. My brother and I won the contract to do the demolition on that barn. We spent a week or better tearing that thing apart. And the first thing you learn is that the folks back 100 years ago, they got real good at moving around big things with their hands. It's kind of a study on leverage. It took us a few days to get it all figured out, but pretty soon we were moving 50 foot beams with cribbing and straps and wheels. It was a pretty interesting little study. Moving around logs by hand is a lot of the same type of thing. I just cut this knot off of this tree and look what was inside. It's a tree frog. I barely missed him with that chainsaw. Poor little guy, must have scared him silly. Oh, they are, they're the best. Look at this little guy. When I'd finished that cut, I saw what, you know, it was just something like spongy kind of moving right at the level of that cut. And it was this guy. He's all covered in sawdust. He's scared. Man, I am sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to freak you out. I'd go find a place for him. He's just hanging onto my finger, chilling. I hope he doesn't have any relatives down in here. I'm right up here. Come on, buddy. There you go. There you Last thing I want to do is chainsaw a tree frog in half. So out of the trunk of that tree, I got five eight-footers, one seven-footer, and one six-footer. Now what I can do is start burning all this brush that's been trapped behind that big pile of logs. I'll get all that brush burned, and then I'll be able to get this big stump out right here. I recently saw a little logging arch for sale on Facebook Marketplace. And the kid who built it just was graduating from the local college's welding program. I went and talked to him and told him what I wanted. He said for a little bit of extra money, he'd tear that log arch apart and make it into anything I wanted. So we worked out a deal and he reworked the arch and built a top bar and a tongue for it. Then I put on the hitch and the chain and the winch and the braces that are made out of mild iron pipe. I think it turned out pretty good. Now, if there's one thing I've been wanting for a long time, it's a logging arch. Because moving around big logs by hand sucks, and it's really hard. It basically puts a kink in everything you want to do with your sawmill. So this will be the maiden voyage of our logging arch, and hopefully it works as good as I hope it does. And that's the problem with sawmilling. 
Even the smallest sawmill that you buy can handle a pretty good sized log. This log I'm hauling right now is maybe, maybe 12 inches. The smallest bandsaw mills on the market will cut a 22, 24 inch log. That's a huge log. Without equipment, that's where you get stuck, is moving logs. You might have a mill that'll accept a 24 inch log, but once you actually see a 24 inch log, you realize there's no way to move it. Well, there's no easy way to move it. Well, I gotta say, I'm about tickled with how that went. These aren't really big logs, but it's no problem at all to get them off the ground. Matter of fact, we can do them two at a time if we want. The winch is from Harbor Freight. It's the cheapest model that they sell, about a $20 bill, but it lifts these logs just fine. Well, there's always a lot to do every summer, and I think this is our last window for doing any kind of hot work in the woods. Summer's not meant for hauling logs or cutting firewood, so I think we're going to put all this on the shelf until the fall when things cool off, and then we'll get back to work on this cabin project. Until then, you guys have a fantastic summer. My name's Dave Whipple, and you've been watching Bush Radical. Be radical, eh? See you soon.